Hey Brianna, thanks for sending your question. The very first thing that we need to do before we can complete this multiplication problem is factor all of the individual terms that it contains. So let's go ahead and start at the top and factor x squared minus 25. It looks like I have two terms, x and 5, that are both squared here and separated by a minus sign. So I have a difference of squares. So x squared minus 25 is going to factor into the square root of x squared, which is x, minus the square root of 25, which is 5, times the square root of x squared, plus the square root of 25. Underneath, we have x squared minus 4x. It looks like we have an x in common here, so we can factor out a monomial. If I factor a monomial out of x squared, I'm just left with x. And if I factor a monomial out of 4x, if I factor the x out of 4x specifically, I'm left with just 4. Let's move over here to this term on the top. Hmm, I'm going to have to do star method for this one. We are looking for two terms that multiply to negative 20 and add to positive 1. I know 5 and 4 multiply to 20, and this number on the bottom is positive, so the larger number is going to be positive. So x squared plus x minus 20 will factor into x plus 5, x minus 4. And one more to go. x squared plus 10x plus 25. Um, that happens to be x plus 5 squared. If you don't recognize that away, that right away, that's okay. We can go through the star method again. We'd be looking for something that multiplies to 25 and adds to 10, and we would come up with 5 and 5. So our factors here would be x plus 5 times x plus 5, which would be x plus 5 squared. Now we get to cancel, and uh, this expression here is going to get a lot nicer to look at. Um, so let's look for common factors. It looks like I have an x plus 4 on the bottom, and, or I mean an x minus 4 on the bottom, and an x minus 4 on the top. Um, I have an x plus 5, and then I have an x plus 5 squared here. So if I cancel out one of those, I'm good. I have another x plus 5. I can cancel that one out. And it looks like I'm just left with x minus 5 over x. So that'll be your final answer for this problem. Thanks again for your question, Brianna, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using Snap Math in the future.